Ayo ke depan. Ayo Mas, Mbak, ini masih ada satu line baris nomor 3 nomor 2. Ayo Mas Mbak ke depan Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A very good morning all audiences in our below faculty, Faculty of Sport Science Universitas Negeri Semarang. The Excellencies Professor Dr. Tanio Rahayu as the Dean of Faculty of Sport Science Universitas Negeri Semarang. The Excellencies Professor Mahalul Azam as the Vice Dean for Academic Affairs. The Excellencies uh, Dr. Andri Ahiranto as a student vice dean for student affairs, and also all of head department in faculty of sport science. We have Dr. Rumini, we have Dr. Sri Haryono, Dr. Martiana, Dr. Irwan, Dr. Sukiyarto, and Dr. Ali, and also Dr. Doni Wirayuda. Uh, very, very good. We have. Uh, our distinguished speaker here. Uh, surely to our distinguished guests from East and South China Normal University, China, welcome to our conservation campus, to Professor Wang, to Mr. Ye Song Dong, and also Mr. Guo Ming Ming, and also Miss Chen. Where is Mr. Chen? Mr. Chen, okay. Uh, we are very happy to have you here in our Bill of Faculty. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is an, such an honor for me to guide this guest lecture in our Bill of Faculty. But before we get started, I would like to invite you to shout the spirit of our faculty. Attention, please, yeah. When I say Faculty of Sport Science, you have to answer with, uh, let me think, sporty, healthy, and happy. Okay. When I say faculty of sports science sporty healthy happy with this one with hand clinch yeah. okay then simply faculty of sports science sporty healthy happy okay thank you you are the best and our first agenda is welcoming speech from our dean uh, the excellency professor tanjo rahayu the floor is yours Thank you, Mr. Lukman. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, thank you for coming and attending this uh, special event this morning. Uh, I would like to say thank you very much and welcome to our distinguished guest from East China Normal University, Professor Wang Xiaozan, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Guo Mingming. Miss Chen Mei Yuan, and also our guest from South China Normal University, Mr. Ye Dong Song or Mr. Stephen. Uh, 
thank you very much, Professor, and all our guests to uh, visiting our Faculty of Sport Science in Universitas Negeri Semarang or Semarang State University. We welcome you. And once again, uh, thank you for your thought to visit our faculty. Uh, we all hope that in the new future, we can uh, step forward together to get a collaboration in the wider terms. And I hope uh, for all my students, we can in the uh, one hour in the this morning, we can hear about uh, the presentation of Professor Wang. And uh, I hope also uh, uh, Prof Wang or Mr. Guo, you can uh, deliver some information to my students and also my young colleague. Uh, opportunity to have master and PhD program in your university. So they can uh, have opportunity to go to get master and PhD program in your university. I think it's uh, enough and we can go further from the next agenda. Thank you very much once again. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you for your warm uh, welcoming to our guests from China. And the next agenda is uh, signing the implementation arrangement document. Uh, we would like to invite all guests from China to come forward to signing some the document.
Okay, thank you for all guests from South and East China University. And the next agenda is a uh, token appreciation. We would like to invite all guests, but over there, Ross, over there, yeah, up, downstairs. Token appreciation, Ina, would you please help me? Okay, here, please. give a certificate and token appreciation. And from our souvenir, wait. Ina, slide please, slide. Okay, thank you for to all guests. Uh, you can back to the seat. And before we get started, uh, let me to read the rule for participant of our guest lecture in this morning. Uh, Ina, would you please to share the PowerPoint? Wait a moment, please, uh, to share some PowerPoint from. Sure. 
The curriculum vitae, Prof. Wait a moment. Okay, this one. Okay, this one. Uh, to the all audiences here, please behave appropriately during the guest lecture. And in the end of this guest lecture, we would like to share our link of e-certificate students. So do not leave this room. And the link is only active for 60 minutes after the guest lecture is over. Next one, please. Uh, here, our distinguished speaker who will address the topic on child and adolescent health promotion. And she is a Professor Wang Xiaozhan from College of Physical Education and Health, East China Normal University, China. For her professional background, she is the former Dean and Party Secretary of the College of Physical Education and Health. You can read all the professional background. And the next one, please, Mr. Mustafa. Okay, this one is her research interest in physical education and health education, and also in child and adolescent health promotion. And about the publication uh, related with uh, physical fitness, uh, KDL, uh, know it, do it, and love it. Yeah, Know it, do it, and love it and also the understanding adolescent mental health and academic yes. achievement. And without, without further ado, I would like, I would like to, to welcome our speaker, Professor Wang from East China Normal University. The floor is yours. Okay, maybe should I, yeah. Okay, to all audience, please hear carefully and after this session i will open answer and question session Ah, Okay. So, okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, now before my uh, presentation, I want to ask, uh, uh, so the students, uh, can you understand more English? It's good? Oh, yeah. So I want to say, sorry, my English is not good. <laughs> so, and uh, you are good. I think maybe uh, give me more confidence. Yeah. So thank you, thank the deans or the university invite me come here uh, to uh, today to this presentation. I'm Xiao Zhan Wan. Maybe you had watched the screen uh, for my introduction. 
and uh, I comes from each, uh, the College of Physical Education and Health of East China Normal University in Shanghai, China. So uh, like before we had a picture is our campus. Uh, I want to, uh, most of you can go to visit China and visit our campus and uh, be our student in China for the master or uh, PhD student. Um, um, Lately, if we had the time, maybe we can give more in information about that, how to study in a China normal university. And before my uh, presentation, I still want to see uh, my English is not good, it's poor. <laughs> So, so I can try my best to, uh, to let you can understand more. So this is why when I made my PowerPoint, my, made my PPT, I use more pictures, more videos. Yeah, I think maybe students love that. Uh, maybe you, can, you don't want me to talk too long, sit here. Okay, I will show uh, more pictures and videos about our research or our action plan, like that. Okay, so today my uh, presentation title is uh, Action Plan for the Sport and the Health Promotion of Chinese Children and uh, Adolescents uh, to 2020 to 2030. Okay, yeah, so this is China. Okay, this is uh, our district of Shanghai, and we had the uh, we had the two campus. Uh, yeah, two campus. This is the uh, Shanghai map. Okay, and uh, this is our university pictures. Still beautiful, but I want to see your university is beautiful today. When I enter the university, I see oh, the view is very very good. Okay, I love it. So I want to know more uh, about ECNU. And uh, this is a new campus. This is the old campus in downtown. Okay, this is all the track and the field. Okay. And uh, so this is some pictures of our university. Finally, this picture is our college, the College of Physical Education and Health. Yeah, of ECNU. So all the building is our college. Yeah, um, but I want to see the proudly is we are the top three of the physical education and the sports field in China. But for my major is physical education. This major is number one in China. <laughs> so lately I will introduce to you because we made the national physical education and the health curriculum standard. Yeah, the national standard is our team, our research team made that. Yeah, so this is why our, our university, the, our major is the number one physical education in China. Okay, here is the Shanghai map, Shanghai uh, pictures. Yeah, it's a modern city. Yeah, it is. so welcome you to Shanghai. Mm -hmm. The first is the background. So today I will introduce the action plan we made. Yeah, so I want to introduce the background. Before my uh, start my uh, lecture, I want to let you see the uh, videos. In these videos, we ask the kids comes from different country. And uh, what the question, the question is, uh, if give you five more years, what is the best things you want to do? Yeah, but you maybe feel strange. Why you ask, uh, why we ask the kids so young this question? Because they have a long lifetime. They don't know the last five more years they wanted to do. If we ask the 80 years old or uh, 90 years old people, maybe they know that uh, if you give them uh, five more years, what they wanted to do. So let's we bring these questions to see, watch this video.
Sorry, I forgot to translate this. Yeah, the first, the last uh, sentence is like that, because the video tell us if we still like now, always sit down. Maybe this generation of per, uh, primary and secondary school students may be shorter than the life lifetime shorter than that of their parents. Yeah, totally. Uh, er Average in all over the world, maybe five years. Can you understand? Yeah. So, you know, uh, now I will, I will give you the this, uh, this data. Yeah. Let's we see this data. Uh, we want to see, as for the international enrollment, it is a slow down game. You know, all the game, the sports game, always oh, fast, stronger. Yeah, uh, distance is uh, far, also like that. Why so? Uh, why we see the slowdown? Because, uh, yeah, we uh, see this slide. We can see the physical activity is reduced in different countries, reduced. Physical activity level is reduced fast. You can, we can see in the USA reduced by 32% within one generation. In the UK, uh, UK data show down, the, down by 22% within one generation. But in China, you see the data is very, very high. It's, uh, uh, reduced by 45% within half a uh, generation, not one generation, ha half generation. Uh, okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah, but I don't know how about the data in Indonesia. Yeah, somebody can tell me in Indonesia, did you, how about your uh, physical activity? Had somebody want? Talk about that. Yeah, I had gift. Yeah, we had gift. Yeah, yeah. And somebody want to talk? Okay. Yeah, I think that beautiful girl is a. Yeah. Is yeah like the data the physical activity reduced. <laughs> Okay. Oh, for everybody here. Okay. You... To trigger our student is okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fine. Okay. So it doesn't mean that I. I haven't taken a shower, but this is only my original hairstyle. <laughs> so, well, uh, what is the question again? It's about, <laughs> it's about this data, right? It's about this data. Well, uh, the prevalence of uh, inactiv physical inactivity in Indonesia, I would like to answer by the national data. Uh, there is a data called RISCASDA. What is it? Call it in English. 
for it's, it's just like a health basic health research nationally so in it's supposed to be in 2022 the data is uh, issued by the uh, indonesian government but the latest da uh, data of the basic health uh, research uh, on in 2018 okay i would i i will not talking about the the increase of physical inactivity but i would like uh, to talk about the obesity uh, okay. prevalences okay. because in uh, Indonesia through uh, the years comparing uh, the data in 2013 okay. and 2018 there is uh, there is an increased uh, prevalences of the obesity okay. and all we know that the obesity link uh, to the physical inactivity okay. it's not only the imbalance of calorie in and calorie out okay. but also so because uh, the obesity is uh, kind of like uh, the bad result of being physical inactive. Okay. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is my, my answer. So, so inactivity uh, lifestyle in Indonesia is increased time by time. Time by time. Yeah. Okay. It's increased. Okay. Okay. So I think... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so I think that this environment is the international environment. Yeah, thank you very much. And the same in the many countries all over the, all over the world. The uh, physical activity gets down and uh, the obesity is uh, get up. Yeah, so this we should worry about. And uh, so you see these pictures, yeah, lacking physical activity becomes come on in children and adolescents. Yeah, so this is a, a very, very big problem. So current physical uh, development of children and adolescents, we had the four, four words. One is the soft bones, and uh, the other one, stiff muscles and joints and uh, uncoordinated and unbalanced. Yeah, so this is, uh, I, I know in China it's like that, and uh, but uh, I don't know if not everywhere. Okay, yeah, so we should ask, what should we do as PE educators? So we, we should do something. We must uh, change immediately, yeah. So because we don't want the, our kids, the long time is shorter than the parents. Yeah, this is why the video, I show you the video. So uh, most of the time today, I will introduce the action plan in China. Yeah, based on the many theoretical and uh, practical research and uh, explorations uh, because it's many, many ways to the many, many meeting and conference and uh, discussion. Uh, so uh, I, I, I will not uh, just let you know we do many jobs about that. We made, yeah, we made the, okay. We made this uh, action plan for the sports and health promotion of Chinese children and adults in 2020 to 2030. We used 10 years, more than 10 years we do that. And uh, so we used the 600 experimental schools. Uh, yeah, we, just, we don't just write down because we should do the experiment and uh, to, to see if not good this plan, yeah we take, took the 10 years about that. And uh, so this action, okay. This action plan was uh, optionally released by our East China Normal University research team in Shanghai, China on December 2020, December 12, 2020, yeah. So uh, you say has more than 40 newspapers reported it. Uh, so people all pay attention to about that. Yeah, you know, we, we are the normal university 
uh, our, our students mostly will be the teachers. So we always uh, work for the kids, the kids' health. Yeah, uh, in this action plan, it has put forward five action vision. This five action vision, the first is uh, prosperity. Second one is the integration. integration. The third one is the content. Third is broad and uh, smart. So five words. Uh, we see the PICPS. It also we had uh, made. Uh, it also we put forward five actions. Uh, this five actions, namely, is a high quality curriculum. So before you uh, introduce me, the KDL. This is the curriculum. So we made the high increasing equality curriculum. Second one is the active school. The third one is the school family community interaction. The fourth one is the sports smart monitoring. The fifth is we made the reward plan like the principal training, uh, principal challenge program. So like that. Okay, the first action is uh, prosperity sports. This is about uh, ethnic and uh, sports. So we want to use the sports educate students. Yeah. So write a new chapter of a healthy world. Okay. You see this, this person, you know who is he? Somebody know him? Okay, has somebody can answer his name? Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, you. Okay, good. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. So when you, uh, when he got the champion, got the award, what do you think? What do you feel? Oh, you <laughs> English. Okay, so please help me. Can you help me translate to him? Uh, yeah, when, when uh, he got the award, got the champion, what do you feel? What is your feeling? Perfect today. Sebagai rakyat Indonesia. Okay. <laughs> ah, that is challenge. Mungkin belum lahir, bro. Okay. So maybe I can speak Chinese to you. Just a the Guanjin the Zoho, Neo Samoka. So Okay, proudly. Is proudly? Yeah, okay. So the gift. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So I just want to let you uh yeah talk. You know the language, my language. I, I said I told you my language is not good. Yeah. Uh, 10 years ago, when I went to the US, I just can see one sentence, nice to meet you. Oh yeah. yeah. But uh, I always practice, practice. So I'm very happy today I can talk with you by English. Yeah, okay. So be the confidence. Yeah. And uh, this is sports, give us the spirit. Can you understand? Yeah. Uh, we feel proudly. And uh, we feel we should work hard. Yeah, nobody, uh, uh, okay, how can I say, nobody is a talent. Yeah, we should work hard like, um, like this. Yeah, I, I know he, she, she did very, very good. Yeah, I think he's a very, very good athlete. Yeah, has many sports. I, 
long time ago is uh, yesterday last night you told me is many uh sports yes okay so should work hard oh the, so we said sports can we can use sports to in, uh, educate our, our kids our students yeah everything everything we should work hard then we can got the good performance like that the Professor, second one uh, but the competitor of topic is linden right okay the, linden you know yeah linden in the competitor is the competitor okay lin lin tan lin tan lin tan okay yeah lin the competitor is, is lin tan the lin tan is yeah he talked with the lin tan yes i know him oh yeah so we still we still proudly about the lin tan yeah so so especially yes. when he is beat by a topic <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah so the second is the integration of sports so for that we said that uh like in the singapore i uh visit the schools they told me the pe teachers in singapore pe teachers not only no physical education but also they should take two uh, two courses yeah like the uh not only teach the physical education but also they need to teach the as uh okay say mathematics uh okay or physical yeah or the english yeah not only physical education yeah like that so this is i want to say integration together yeah different curriculum integration together so but uh, uh doesn't matter uh, any program we always want to put push the kids to do the activity so we made the high quality curriculum curriculum uh, uh many years ago in china the students stay in the pe class still no sweating yeah and the dress is very heavy okay heavy dress so uh always wait yeah wait like that so the uh mvpa is very low so we this is why i want to make the kdl curriculum uh we want to give the teachers high quality curriculum and uh, give the students more mvpa is like that and the let students in the pe class is sweating we have to sweating not only in the PE class, but also we made the active school at active campus. Like the uh, in China, every student should exercise one hour per day. Exercise one hour per day, and uh, in the academic classes, we had the brain breaks. Yeah, uh, we, I will show you, and and uh, we still. Uh, pay attention to the faculty health promotion. Yeah, not only students. If the teachers not health, we can't teach the health student. And we we can make the uh, reward plan that and the, like the principal's challenge program. Uh, give the student like the, the moment ago we give the gift. Yeah. So in college, the students uh, do the activity like that. So I want to see the relationship. What is the relationship like the curriculum standard and uh, curriculum model and uh, curriculum and uh, teaching. So in the countryside, in the national side, should uh, make the curriculum standard. And our research team, made the curriculum models like the Chinese uh, health physical education curriculum model. Then, but this is the high level. But teachers want to know how to teach, what will be teach like that. So this is curriculum. We made the curriculum and the teachers just re uh, use this curriculum for the teach. So I think it's so helpful for teachers. Uh, yeah, like that. So yeah, KDL, we from the kindergarten, 
the movement games curriculum in kindergarten is uh, three to six years old. And uh, for the uh, elementary school, we had the physical education curriculum for the elementary school. This is uh, for seven to 12 years old. Yeah, what is KDL? Uh, maybe you have some questions. KDL is the know it, do it, love it. Yeah, this one is Chinese. Zhi zhi xing zhi le zhi. This is Chinese. Uh, yeah, but translate is know it, do it, love it. Means know it is knowledge and skills. The student should understand the sports culture, not just the activity. We have the culture. The do it is a procedure and the method. Students should uh, must the procedure and uh, method. You should get the ab uh, abilities to exercise. The love it is about the emotions and the values. Students should uh, knee on sports. This means KDL. Yeah, this is our curriculum. But uh, for the time is today, not long time. So I just uh, talk the name, can't uh, uh, the details. Yeah, here has the has a case. Has a case is a teaching case of physical education and health curriculum in primary school. Yeah, like this, you can see the both sides of the body and the brain. So in the elementary school, the kids so young, when we did not just use one side, we uh, the right hand and the left hand because uh, had balance. And uh, the brain, you know, the right hand is exercise, uh, yeah, practice the uh, left brain. The left hand practice the right brain. So we have these activities means both sides of body and brain. Focus on the uh, structures, knowledge, and uh, skill learning. Yeah, this is the uh, handing dribbling. Yeah, in the young kids, not basketball, just the yeah handing dribbling. And uh, you can see that all the activities has right hands, has left hands, left hands. Yeah, has the right hands like that. Yeah, so it's a balance. We should do the balance. I know you have the elementary uh, physical education in elementary school. You have this major. So it's very important for young kids. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is for the curriculum. The other one is for rubrics. So you, yeah, I do this is like half hours. Do you want to do the activity now? Yeah, if you want, please sit, yeah, stand up, I will. Stand yeah, up, you please. can uh, stand up, please. Yeah, active uh, by the videos. Yeah.
Okay. What is the feeling? Is good? Be good? Uh, is get more energy? Yeah, okay. This is... Uh, activity in classroom yeah in china we uh, encourage the academic teachers yeah you know like in the elementary school the kids not can't pay attention to long time so each each 20 minutes can let the student stand up and do the activity two or three minutes and uh, the student can get more energy uh, for the uh, literally the class like that. So this is why we made this plan. That, so we should try to more opportunity give the kids to the, do the activity. Yeah, like that. So this so I see I see the name is brain breaks BB brain breaks the. Uh, bring do the relax they yeah, like that and uh, get uh, more positive energy okay so the third action is uh, plus sports means family plus the sports yeah the physical activity is at home to build a healthy parent child relationship yeah i i, I don't i don't know in Indonesia, the parents pay, if or not, the parents pay attention to a play with kids in home. No, <laughs> in in China the same because the parents every day send the kids to the school. He think all job is a teacher's job. Yeah, they don't. Uh, they always stay so busy, no time to play with the kids. That is very bad. The best education is in the family. So we should uh, yeah, build the good enrollment in home for kids. So before I talk this, I will show you the other video. So today has many videos. Yeah, this video is say the, the uh, PE teachers. It's made by PE teachers. Yeah, she just worked in the royal, not in the city, in the royal. And every day he do the volunteer with the parents and the kids. Yeah, every day. You can see, but you speak Chinese, but we have the English word. You can understand. Yeah, every morning, every day morning. Yeah, the, this is the PE teachers, the red, just the red one. You see the parents and the kids work together. What? Uh, research? Yeah, from my research. Yeah. 
的路子，你把它看的是什么？那些历史，就是我们历史上的这些东西，就是说，这个历史状况真的是需要我们做到。如果有消化不足的时候，我们也能消解开的。大家都提出来，就是在这个环境下，对，那同学互相交流是吧？这是很很不好的话，所以我们其实要在就是我们化解，我们实力状态是不是？不管是真实还是虚拟，都有实力。就是我非常喜欢，小的时候呢，就是去做这个事情。后来因为外老家庭是支持，就做这样的一个义工。那从就是母亲节啊，和家里的父母就是来一个小礼物，来庆祝母亲节啊，说让孩子和在和父母啊，说对孩子很好，所以说给你妈妈给你妈吃一顿饭。对于这个呢，就是。孩子的教育其实不应该装成学校，只有家长和学校联合起来才能达到更好的效果。这小孩的话，他对我的人善良是吧？就是你跟他说话的时候，可能说。This is a mother. Okay, yeah, this is the PE teachers. Yeah, is a, this lady is did a very good, very good job, and every day, every morning, he like that, and the parents all love her. Love her. Okay, yeah. So we just want to the influence the parents, influence the family, influence the community, like that. So and.、Uh, We made the project. This project is a loud to move project. Yeah, in China, most in the city, most kids or sit the car, sit in the car, go to the school. So we said is encourage encourage students to walk or cycle to and back from school if it possible. Yeah, and.、Uh, Advocate taking chair, taking stairs more than decreasing elevator use. Yeah, should, ah,、uh, okay, taking stairs and organize simple and quick physical activities during long meeting. Yeah, like a moment ago, we do the active, not sit down long time. Yeah, the accumulated screen time should not exceed. Sixty minutes per per day, yeah, and、uh, emphasize moving our bodies in various situations of our daily life and、uh, avoid sedentary behaviors. So, like the obesity is high, so we should pay attention to how to figure out that. Yeah, this is love to move project. Yeah, here is many videos. Yeah. You see who who is she? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> yeah, I worked with my kids. My my son is sit there, sit in this room. Yeah, okay. So and in home, like the last three years, yeah,、uh, we have many times stay in the home, can't go out. So, but we still we should more active. This is、uh, I play with my son. Like、uh, this is my son too. When he was one years, one and a half years old,、uh, one and a half years old,、uh, I I bring him to、uh, watch the basketball game. After he watch the basketball game, he love it. So always want、uh, shooting. Okay. So this I I bring this. Uh, facility in home is、uh, yeah lower to him. Okay, this is the first shooting. You see the first shooting here has many PE teachers in the future. Yeah, you see the 
okay, how can I say the skill? Yeah, this is the, his first shorting. And then when he was two years old, you can see what that. Two years old. Yeah. Okay, jump shorting. Okay. <laughs> when he was uh, three years old, you will see. Yeah, three years old. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, yeah, just based on the when he was one year, one and a half years old, I bring him to watch the watch the basketball game and the left key very interesting about that and uh, i i never teach him but i don't know basketball sorry because i, I have never teach him just uh, i just do one thing every day go out for a walk and uh, we walk to basket basketball yeah the port okay he just uh, stand there and watch then come back he practice by himself yeah like that so <laughs> this is means is parents pay attention to the kids activity in home is good still good for the activities yeah and uh, the fourth one is the constant sports means life plus the sports so we built the child friend community yeah exercise build uh, yeah a new exercise lifestyle yeah, you will see the government uh, near near our university. The government give me some some place, so we built the child friendly community. Yeah, this is the old one. Uh, uh, three years ago from the twenty twenties. Now we have the other new one. Yeah, this is brand new, but I just finished the design. Uh, when, uh, after I come back from here, we will build that, that ch uh, child-friendly uh, community. Yeah, you see, or use the KDL colors. Okay. So this is uh, the schedule, daily schedule in our, in this community. Yeah, every day from Monday to Friday. Uh, in the morning, we work for the uh, three years old, younger than three years old. Yeah, every afternoon we work for the uh, three to 12 years old uh, students uh, after they after school, like that they can come to this community and uh, do the play or uh, physical activities. And in the Saturday or Sunday, we still work for the special kids. This kids like the ADHD and uh, all the uh, motor delay these kids we work for them and uh, do the intervention and we still work for the parents we do the lecture for parents and uh, teach them some knowledge about the physical education yeah change the ideas so this is the communities yeah we work for that and uh, our students like you age do the volunteers in this community work for the kids yeah okay the last one is smart sports uh it's technology plus sports yeah so sports and technology both both the pe teach uh, physical education future development yeah okay in this season i will now i will show you the other the other videos I think maybe you can know more. This is the, okay. Yeah. is a big stage.
Okay, this is the, our, our team research too. Yeah, we made this with the, some, uh, the other uh, team. Yeah, uh, uh, technical game teams. Yeah, technology team. Okay, so here is the AI physical education homework. Yeah, and uh, just use the cell phone. You know the cell phone has a min minute camera. Okay, the cell phone's camera can watch the kids' activity and uh, evaluate how about they did do. And so I will show you, has somebody want to do the practice in front of this, this room? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, I, I show you this video, how to do that. Yeah, this is the eat beans. Eat beans, you can see that, yeah. Has somebody want to do that? One student, please, one volunteer. Come forward, please. Okay. Has somebody want to do that? Okay. 
you you should see yeah how to do it yeah this is easy it's easy like that okay the one one just one yes one by one you can do that okay yeah yeah you move move Yeah, you see, you see, you see him. <laughs> yeah, eat the beans, eat the beans. <laughs> okay okay yeah yeah you eat the chowchila oh just one minute okay so who wants to try has somebody want to try okay <laughs> yeah you just see here, here. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, good. Okay. So, has a gift. <laughs> oh. Okay, good. Yeah. Continue. Seven, six, five, oh, four. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. Have a, one more person can pick. Yeah. We, we want to have one more person. And one more person want to do that? Satu lagi. Satu lagi. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we want to see who is the best. Okay, you you can see the scores. The first the... is seventy-seven, right? Yang pertama tujuh-tujuh, yang ini berapa? Okay. 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 <laughs> okay, got the score. Yeah, you jump, jump. You should jump. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, get the call. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, good. Oh. Yeah, two, one. Oh. <laughs> much better, much better. And uh, has someone come? The last one. The last one. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's that's right. Yeah, female, female. No, no, no. Yeah, Chame, okay. Chame. oh, lady, oh, the girl. 
Yeah, it's good. We can see who is the best. Okay. Oh, you're good. Oh, cool, cool. Wow, good. Yeah, you, oh, good. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, good. Okay, go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, yeah, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, okay. Okay, she's the best. Okay. Okay, okay, that's all. Yeah. Yeah, she's the best. Uh -huh. oh. No. Okay, it's interesting. No, so the kids can do the, this activity in the home. This is a this is our homework. Yeah, we made many many uh, lessons about that uh, in the in our flat. Okay. Finally, I want to see the other KDL. Before I see the KDL is uh, know it, do it, love it. The other KDL is uh, keep daily life. Yeah, so we want to make our students a new generation to enjoy physical activity and uh, re realize the uh, uh, potential in life. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Do you want to? No. Okay, so before I finish my presentation, I still have other activities. Do you want the other brain breaks? You just sit down and uh, uh, you just sit down and uh, uh, follow the videos, okay? Uh, already? Okay, okay, let's begin. Okay. How about your shoulder? Is good? Oh, oh, thank you much. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Wang, for your interactive uh, talk. Uh, we would like to go to the question and answer session. Yeah. We open three questions. Do you have questions? First question from my brother mr <laughs> ali and second question over there and the last question the left side please oh. okay well uh i would like all students to have uh to give a big applause once again well uh I think the this morning we have a very fruitful uh, presentation by uh, Professor Wang. Uh, as we know that COVID-19 pandemic is actually teaching uh, global populations, uh, realizing all of us uh, 
all over the world uh, realizing and understanding the importance of uh, physical activity to maintain our health. The case is that uh, I do believe that everybody in, in this room, they already know, they already acknowledge uh, the benefit of uh, physical activity uh, to keep health and to promote uh, well-being for the life. My question is, uh, what uh, China government do to encourage all the people, all the uh, people in, in China? Because um, in Indonesia, I think uh, the problem is that we know, but we have million excuses to not do physical activity. That's number one. Number two, you're showing us uh, that you uh, ask your son, uh, encourage your son to, to be physically active until I saw that uh, probably in the future, your son can be an elite athlete of basketball. And that is really good. Uh, what do you suggest to parents uh, who have a more than one, one kid, if the parents have more than one kid, three or four, that is the fact in Indonesia, because uh, we believe more kids, more lucky. Yes. Yeah, so how, uh, what will you suggest and what will, what will you, how, how you encourage them to, to do that? In case that uh, you know that Indonesia is still third world country, which means we are still struggling uh, for the economic wealth. So a lot of people uh, in the early morning, they need to, to go to work, not having time to, to play with, with the children. So uh, if you have a advices and, you know, to, we, we can, uh, probably we cannot change uh, the older generations, but at least we can change the future parents of Indonesia. So please, thank you. Okay. Great question. Thank you for questions. You can answer first question. Okay. Oh, answer, can answer first question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the first question is uh, how about uh, the government to do that? Yeah. So I think 10 years ago or 20 years ago, the Chinese government uh, uh, not pay attention to about that. But uh, in last uh, five or 10 years, the government uh, pay more attention to the kids' health, uh, especially last three years. You know what happened last three years. And uh, the people all feel the health is uh, very important. It's more than the academic scores, okay? So our government sent many, many policy. Uh, yeah, uh, made many policy for the for the for work for the kids. Like every day, at least one hour activities in school. After school, still have the other one hour. So should do the activity. And uh, as like I made the child friend community. This is uh, one of the uh, our government wanted to do. Yeah, like that. So made many policy uh, for the kids. Yeah, this one. The <laughs> number two is uh, about uh, how many kids. Yeah, you know, in China, uh, five years ago or eight years ago, only one kid. So like me, I am only one kid. So I can work for that. I, I can understand your, your question is, if a family has three or four kids, maybe parents no energy. Yeah, but more kids is more lucky because kids can play with kids. Yeah, but uh, why I work with my son? Because he, yeah, he, I just want kids. If I uh, don't play with him, he will feel Lonely, but uh, he is lucky because he has. I have many students. Uh, is his sisters or brothers can play with him? So like that. If you have uh, many kids, the kids with kids, that is no problem. 
for the activity. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So do you? Uh, yes, yes. So, okay. And uh, now the Chinese government changed the policy about key, uh, how many kids one family. Now we can three. Really? Yeah, but I can't. I just want. <laughs> I'm I'm so old. <laughs> so they can go to the three kids. And uh, if you got three kids, government will uh, uh, reward and give you money. Two or maximum. Okay. Yeah. Even there is no budget from government. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Any further discussion, bro? Okay. So do you have the okay. yeah, again? Yeah. So everybody should talk more. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The second, second question yeah. to the student, Mr. Okay. Mustafa. Okay, behind Mr. Ali. Okay. Oh yeah. Good. Okay, mention your name and what study program are you from? Okay, first I want to say thank you so much for Professor Wang Xiongzhen has been giving me your time. But before me to ask my question, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Ifa Hamda. I'm from international class in Hismarang University. Oh. Okay. From um, what department? Physical education. Uh, physical education. Okay. Okay, so my first question is related to how you're going to divide the student into the project uh, you have. And then whatever we can do, join or talk to you about your project, one or more your project. Uh, I think like obey your student in China or student exchange, maybe. Thank you. Okay, sorry. This uh, maybe I need help. Okay, the opportunity of uh, join your project, your research project, or okay. the opportunity to exchange with your university, exchange okay. student. Yeah, uh, is uh, for the. Uh, undergraduate or graduate? Uh, undergraduate. Yeah, so we can talk about that. Yeah, talk about that. Like uh, some our students uh, exchange the other university. Maybe both of our universities can talk about the exchange of the students. Yeah. And what about uh, but, uh, see interest to join your research project maybe oh, in the future? Welcome. Is it possible for undergraduate post, uh, student? Is it possible? Uh, be the student? No, uh, bachelor, undergraduate. Undergraduate, yeah. So, but uh, undergraduate may be a little bit hard. Maybe just to do the exchange uh, between the two universities. Yeah, okay. be, just uh, how can I say? Up to uh, both of us can sign the contract like that. Okay. Like maybe agreement. some of our our students come here, and you students come to our university. Yeah. So, but uh, anyway, if you can't go to China now, yeah, you still can contact us. And uh, later you can, uh, yeah, talk with my students. Yeah, I welcome you join my research. Okay. Okay. Any further discussion or question from Eva? No? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. You're number four, Why yeah? You? You're number four. <laughs> number three. Uh, Mike. Microphone, please. Microphone. Okay. Would you please open the yeah, like. Please on the microphone. Okay. okay. Uh, so let me introduce myself first. My name is Retno Kusuma Dewi. I'm from nutrition uh study program. So nutrition. Nutritionist. Oh, nutrition. Okay. Nutrition? Nutrition okay. pro study program. Uh, so before I deliver my question, I would like to say thank you so much for Professor Wang uh, for the explanation, which is very simple, uh, so I can understand easily. So uh, one of the points that, that I explained earlier is about screen time, is which is should not to be so long. Now, so what I want to ask is especially for a student, uh, how to set a screen time while almost all listen and even assignment 
need a gadget to be accessed. Okay. So yeah. as you need your help. Yeah, like. Yeah, screen time. Okay. Laptop or phone. Yeah, for for kids. For children, just they do the time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What is the question? Suggestion. Suggestion. Okay. Yeah, for for undergraduate student, uh, for college student, or for the school for student. College student for student or college student. Student senior high school student. or for you. It uh, mahasiswa oh. student. College. 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 But I think college student is okay because uh, yeah, you are okay at adult. Yeah. You are adult. That I think that is okay. Just before I said it's one hour per day, that is for young young student. It's for elementary school, uh, school student or kindergarten kids like that. But uh, in the college students, I think you use cell phone every day <laughs> and every time, any time. Yeah. Uh, I just I just want to see suggest you lower. I I no no standard about that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any further discussion? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Agil. Okay. 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 Microphone, please. Why you? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, that was a wonderful presentation from Professor Wang. Uh, I have a two questions actually. First, maybe PhD. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um. Uh. The 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 big uh, thing for me is, what is the best way to get a PhD in China? Whereas a uh, suggestion apply. from apply. You can apply. Yes. Uh, for government, the first, you should uh, contact the professor. Uh -huh. And uh, if a professor want, uh, yeah, you want you, and you can get the letters to the Chinese government and apply the scholarship. Okay, because uh, when I saw your presentation and then the story from all teams from China, uh, your research um uh, relate and match with my specialty in department okay, so of physical education the best time for you ah thank okay. you okay <laughs> and the next question <laughs> uh, as uh, educators and as a parents professor wang as uh, educators i'm interested what kind of assessment uh use for at school in china for pe assessment okay assessment for pe assessment for yes. pe uh, in school yeah. or in PE major in, in school in primary school because in Indonesia we still use a number to describe a uh, student's competence like uh, 78 80 90 like that report for PE in Indonesia still common use a number not describing their uh, students performance okay uh, what, what happened in China nah mereka lagi ngobrol sekarang yeah. But uh, yeah, but uh, now we not only scores. Okay. Not only scores. Only scores. No, not, not only, only not, not only, only scores. Oh, okay, okay. But also has the like uh, quality assessment. Yeah, quality evaluation. And uh, not only the final final result. Uh, but also we have the procedure, yeah, like that. And uh, see the, uh, how can you say, the okay, yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. and then not...
Okay. So maybe the the point uh, to ask by Mr. Wang is, uh, what is uh, how in China to evaluate the PE subject? PE subject is for college. Yeah, yeah. It, no, no, no. In the school. In the school. Physical education subject in school. Mm -hmm. How the teacher in China evaluate student in PE class? Uh, is there evaluate in uh, skill or in physical fitness? Not only skill and the not only fitness, uh, physical uh, uh, fitness. We had now. Okay, question okay. Suya. Uh, literacy, uh, physical literacy. We have three part. One is for the uh, skills. not only skills, the learning ability, ability. Okay, sports ability or exercise ability, but also has the behavior is a health health behaviors. And uh, the third one is, uh, this is very hard, is for the spirit, sports spirit. Okay. Like a Okay, like that. Moral. Moral. Morality. Moral. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this part, we, we evaluate students. Yeah. Okay, Can thank you. you. Next uh, question. Still, last question. Okay, as a parent, because because um, <laughs> uh, Mr. Ali also talked about as a parents before. So, uh, any suggestion from Professor Wang? Because I also have a daughter, still four four years old, and I'm a typical parent. I uh, cannot stop talking. If you say to make habit to our children like your example in the morning us a song to walk together in the morning but i i can't um, make my daughter like uh, doing herself i always say watch out don't run don't go there you will fall down please watch out i always do that what is the best solution to make my daughter active but I'm not worried if she fell down or not. Up to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You are so worried. Okay, so don't worry. Uh, okay. Let she do what she can do. Yeah, don't worry. And uh, let she love you. Then if you play, she want to play with you like my son. Always want to sit down with you. Yeah, like that. So you don't worry because she just uh, four years old. Yeah. So he will be better. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Professor Wang. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you to Mr. Wayuragil, Mr. Ali, Professor Tandio, and to all students here. I think this is enough, Professor. Okay. Uh, because finally we come to the end of this session, I would like to say thank you again to Professor Wang and all delegates from China. Let's give once again a big applause to them. <laughs>
to all students, please stand up and we can take picture from Mr. Mustafa from on the stage. Berdiri, berdiri, merapat, merapat, foto dari atas. Okay. Shout the spirit faculty ready Pak Gus ready faculty of sports science 